Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to my video diary for the London Film and Comic Con Winter as it's now called, formerly the Entertainment Media Show, formerly Collectomania London I think they'll probably settle on the current name but who knows um, It was yesterday, October the 6th, which was Sunday, that I went I didn't go on the Saturday as there was only Billy Piper there who I was really keen on meeting but since I'd met her Back in May at Collectomania, I couldn't really justify the cost of going just for the day to see her. Um, but everybody else who I wanted was there yesterday. So I toddled up. I was expecting to be quiet, especially when I got my photo tickets through. Because even though I'd left them to the penultimate day to order them, I had low numbers for everybody. So I'd guess sales hadn't been high. I don't think that's... Partly to do with the calibre of the guests, partly to do with the time of the year, and partly to do it being the Sunday. Um, but just in case, I got there just before 9 o'clock when it opened, and it was about 100 back in the pay on the day queue. There was some days, or some events rather, um, if I'd arrived at that time, I'd have been thousands back, so that shows how quiet it was. Because of the timings of my photo shoots, I was there practically all day. My last one was at quarter past four. So I've walked round and round the venue looking at all the stalls lots and lots of times. And I've now got very sore calves. But enough of that. I went in, got me virtual queue tickets, um, paced everybody out so that I was seeing people regularly through the day. But my first meeting was Noel Clark. Uh, Noel played Mickey Smith in David Tennant era Doctor Who. Um, he is also a very, very talented man who writes and directs his own films, including Kiddlehood and Adulthood and 4321 and lots and lots of things. He's got a small role in the latest Star Trek film. He was in Alfie's Aim Pet. He won the BAFTA Orange uh, Rising Star Award a few years back. Very, very clever man. I have met him once before, which was back at my very first convention, Collectomania 7 which was whilst the first series, it was either whilst the first series of New Who was um, being broadcast or it was just after, I think it was still being broadcast. Um, and I didn't have a, sh a photo with him at that time because that was the one convention where I didn't take photos. Um, but it was nice to meet him again, especially considering how much Mickey developed and his continuing role after then. Uh, Rather frustratingly, there's a guy a couple in front of me in the queue who was dressed as Colin Baker's doctor. Um, and I'm not sure what prompted it, but he obviously asked Noel about somebody. And Noel's uh, response was that he was a uh, four-letter word beginning with C. Uh, let you work out the rest of that. Um, I, as I say, I didn't hear who he was talking about. Um, the conversation continued with the next person in the queue um, and still I couldn't quite make out who he was referring to. I know who he wasn't referring to um, because he said so-and-so is nice, so-and-so is okay. I won't name names just in case any of them see this. Um, I have a suspicion who he was talking about because there was one obvious name who I didn't hear mentioned. But rather frustratingly I didn't quite find out who it was. Um, so I asked him, please tell me, and he wouldn't which is annoying, but never mind. Um, yeah, really nice guy. We had a, a chat about um, his films, what he's got coming up. Um, he's directing a film called The Anomaly. Uh, yeah, really good, nice. Sign the photo, and this is it. About half an hour later I had my first photo shoot of the day which was with Noel, uh, usual procedure. Noel remembered me, he looked up, said hi and then realised who I was and all again. Um, nice photo and this is it. Second guest I met was Natasha Henstridge. Natasha's debut film is a role that shot her to semi-fame, shall we say, um, which was a sill in Species, a very underrated film in my opinion. Um, 
notorious because she spends a large proportion of it with very few and or no clothes on. Um, but aside from that, it's a very good sci-fi, horror-y, thriller-y type film. Um, she was also in The Whole Nine Yards with Bruce Willis and uh, Matthew Perry and Rosanna Arquette and Amanda Peet, which is a great film. Um, the sequel's rubbish, so avoid that, The Whole Ten Yards. She's done The Outer Limits, she's done various things. Um, she's probably best known over here because she um, is it, was in a long-term relationship with and is currently married to, but getting divorced from, Darius from pop stars, Darius Dinesh, um, Darius Campbell, as he changed his name to, to be taken more seriously. Um, so she's probably best known over here for that relationship. She was nice. Um, she was a guest whose agent was um, the notorious Julie Caitlin Brown, who I may have referred to before, but not knocking her, she brings over very good guests, but she always makes them no-post photos, no matter how busy or quiet they are, in order to sell more photo shoots, um, which is frustrating to say the least, uh, especially when it is quiet, and especially when I think it they might be a bit busier if they were posing for photos, because I think some people are put off um, and just don't get an autograph full stop from them, rather than um, rather than buying a photo shoot. Uh, rant over, anyway. Um, apart from that, she was as I say, quiet. I went up, um, somebody was interviewing her when I went up to her, but they stopped and let me go on. Uh, I complimented her on the whole nine yards and species, and she thanked me. And when I said I'll see her in a photo shoot, which I'd already booked, um, she said, "Oh, cool, that'll be nice. See you in a bit." Um, these are the two photos I got her to sign for me. Next was my photo shoot with Natasha. Um, she gave me a nice smile when I went in. Uh, interestingly, there was only one female queuing for a photo shoot from Natasha. The rest was all blokes. I can't understand why. Um, but here is my shoot with Natasha. I forgot to mention that in between my photo shoot with Noel Clark and my Natasha Henstridge um, meeting, I went to the Doctor Who talk. Uh, apart from one person who is somebody I met and I will be telling you about in a minute, um, it featured mainly minor people. Well, it was um, the person who I met was Neve McIntosh, who plays Madame Vastra in the current series. Um, so she had some interesting things to say about makeup process and what have you. Then there was Andrew Hayden Smith who was in some of David Tennant's stories um, who didn't say much. Uh, Dick Mills who was interesting, he's special effects guru who helped put together the original theme tune back in 1963 and was still working on the show when it went on hiatus in 1987. Or was it nine? I always get the years muddled up. Um, but right at the end of, the, of Sylvester McCoy's era, he was still working on sound effects and what have you. So he had some interesting things to contribute. Uh, then there was uh, Karen Bledhill, I want to say, I might be wrong there, um, who appeared in Remembrance of the Daleks, Sylvester McCoy era, who had, was actually quite interesting, um, despite her small involvement in Who, and made some very good points. Then a guy whose name I've totally forgotten, um, but he was in a few he, few who's in Tom Baker era, and I'll put it on the screen here. Um, sorry, he had a, a couple of interesting anecdotes and was amusing at times. And finally, Kate O'Mara, who played Varani and was um, quite vocal in a wish to portray Varani again and how with Peter Capaldi being an older doctor there might be a chance for an older villainess 
to return to the show. Um, I think it's unlikely, bless her, she's definitely getting on a bit, she no longer looks anything like Marani, which given she's a Time Lord, uh, she shouldn't have aged so much. Or, but, or Time Lady as some people refer to the female ones, but that's another story. Um, but it, yeah, it was quite an interesting talk, and uh, it killed half an hour quite nicely. Uh, back onto schedule, uh, after Natasha's photo shoot was my photo shoot with um, Neve McIntosh. Uh, as I say, she plays Madame Vastra in current Doctor Who, so she's usually seen under lizard skin makeup. Um, but you may recognise her from her roles in Lip Service, Gorman Gast, Bodies, and quite a few other things. Very talented actress, very lovely lady. Um, this is my shoot with her. Neve was actually late getting to the event um, and so didn't start signing till about 11 o'clock I think it was. So then she had a massive queue of people who had been waiting for her to turn up and she had the Who talk at half 11. Um, came back to that and had another massive queue. Then she had her photo shoot and after her photo shoot she went to lunch so then when she came back from lunch eventually she had another massive queue. Um, so while I was waiting for her cues to die down a bit, I went and got uh, Sam Jones first, who, or Sam J. Jones as he's often credited, he's Flash Gordon in Flash Gordon, the 1980 classic cult camp sci-fi film, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, and if you aren't you should be. Uh, he also has come to prominence again recently for playing a exaggerated version of himself in the film Ted. Uh, interesting man. He was he had his own chair. Obviously, I don't know if he's got back problems or something, but it was a slightly higher chair with support on the back, so I would guess so. Didn't see him go on a lunch break, but he was often sat there nibbling away at something while he was signing, and he was keeping his own tally of how many autographs he'd done, uh, which made me think that maybe he was being paid either per autograph or if he did a certain number he got paid extra, um, but interesting, it's not something you usually see the guests do. Uh, he he was nice, wasn't exactly chatty, I asked him if there, were plans to, if there had ever been plans to do a second Flash Gordon and he just said yes and sort of left it at that. Um, so I, was differing over to whoever to push him further but decided not to but he was nice enough and he referred to me by name all the guests were no pose photos that I wanted to see Neve was doing them at times but when she was trying to get through her cues they stopped them um, so I was fortunate that four of the five guests I met I'd already booked photo shoots for and the other one I wasn't expecting to have photos with and wasn't overly concerned um, but we'll get to him in a minute as I was leaving after getting Sam's autograph I turned round and Neve was just coming back from lunch and she saw that he was there and just sort of stopped dead in her tracks and was just gawping and then looking along and uh, all the other people who were there and she hadn't realised who else was there and there was quite a few people apparently she wanted to meet because we discussed that when I met her about 10 minutes later. Um, lovely lady. Uh, I complimented her on her role in lip service and she said how much she liked her hair in that. Um, and I got two autographs from her, one from Who and one from lip service. Uh, as she was signing the lip service one she wrote my name and realised she was writing it above a cocktail and said, oh, Martini, and laughed, which was spontaneous and funny. Um, and obviously loses everything in translation, but it was funny at the time. Um, but yeah, we had a nice chat. She's written nice little things on my autographs, on my lip service one. It was um, 
Luscious Lip Love and on my Doctor Who one um, it's Green Love and Cake I think, you'll see anyway um, really nice here and I, I mentioned that I'd spotted her having her fangirl moment and she laughed and said how excited she was to see some people and hoped she'd get some photos with them and I've noticed on her Twitter feed she's posted with various people although not Sam Jones that I've seen to date although I haven't checked this morning um, but yeah really nice um, these are the autographs Final um, autograph of the day was John Burnfall, who plays Shane in The Walking Dead. Um, as I said, wasn't expecting photos with him, and um, I'm not planning on getting photo shoots with a Walking Dead cast. Um, I do try and limit how many photo shoots I get, because it does work out expensive getting both shoots and autographs. Um, managed to grab one while he was signing ahead of me. As you can see, he's wearing a cap, so it's not the best shot of him. He was a nice enough guy, quite quiet. Um, spoiler alert. He thanked me when I said how the show wasn't the same since his character died. And he wrote a nice dedication on my autograph. Um, but wasn't particularly chatty. I think he's quite shy. Uh, this is the autograph. So finally for me was my prop photo shoot with Sam Jones. Um, you could have had a normal one earlier in the day or paid £10 more and had this prop photo shoot uh, done in the style of the shoot he does in the film Ted. Uh, you'll see it in a second. It was all very cleverly done. Um, it was done against a green screen and the uh, photographer had a special device attached to the front of his camera that flashed green LEDs to make it all work and it, yeah, it was still printed instantly just as the normal ones did. So very clever. Um, I could have pulled a semi-decent pose and tried to hide my chins but I thought I'd go for a more comedy pose and hang the vanity um, and this is the shoot. So that was it. Uh, not the busiest event for me, volume wise, although long day time wise. Uh, next up is Collectomania Milton Keynes in November. Be interesting to see if they really have completed the venue. Something nags at me that maybe they won't have and we'll still be walking around the concourse in the freezing cold November. But we shall see. Uh, it's not the best line-up for me so far, but we've still got a month and a bit to go. Nearly two months, thinking about it. So hopefully there'll be some bigger names to attract. Uh, as it is at the moment, I'll probably only be doing one day, but I'm prepared to be going up there all weekend. So we shall see. Um... And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.